Peace officers from across the Midwest come together to say goodbye to one of their own, honoring a life lost too soon. Algona police officer Kevin Cram saluted as officers filed by his flag draped casket today. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tim Seaman. Hundreds from the North Iowa community of Algona joining in that sad farewell today for 33 year old Kevin Cram who was shot and killed in the line of duty last week. Today all remembering him as a hero. Details of today's service in our top story at six. Today's emotional service included bagpipes, music, scripture, as well as many acknowledgments of the kind of man Kevin Cram was. His obituary saying in part he played remarkable, he displayed remarkable bravery and selflessness in the wake of danger, upholding the oath he had taken to protect his community. Pastor Lisa Call asked those gathered to hold Kevin's family, his friends, and his fellow officers in their arms and breathe into them peace. Kevin leaves behind his wife and three young children. And as is tradition in the law enforcement community, a final call for Cram went out, closing the service. I'll go on to this officer. Kevin Cram, When 42 for the last time on September 13, 2023, he is our hero. Elgona lost a great man. Kevin Cram was a son, a brother, a husband, and a father. Kevin Cram lived the life of being a hero, and he died one. Kevin loved his family and he served the citizens of Algona with integrity, honor, and loyalty. More than 700 officers from Iowa and other states escorted Cram's body to a cemetery near Corwith, Iowa. That's where he grew up. A grave site service was held privately for the family. Meanwhile, a memorial fund has been established for Cram's family at the Iowa State Bank there in Algona. Again, Officer Cram was just 33 years old.